because this week we're gonna get dumped on. We've been dumped on since the beginning of the week and we're gonna get dumped on again tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be like blizzard conditions, so it's gonna be a little rough for our crew. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm pretty busy with my business. I, I've got my mind made up. I want them all out of office. Um, but, uh, <laughs> right. you know, I, I'd like to see more money left here in the States and helping the people that need help than helping the ones. I mean, I get it. We need to help everybody, but we can't help everybody if we don't help ourselves first. Yeah, it's such an important caucus season this year. I expect a great turnout, but we just, we just never know. With, we never know how much snow we're gonna actually gonna get tomorrow, and then it's gonna get super cold Sunday to Monday. I think the high is like negative four at the moment or something. So if it does, if the weather does affect it, it will be because of the temperature, not because of the snow. You know, once the day after the snowstorm hits, we're good. But it's just that it's the cold that's gonna linger around. That's the issue. For me, I'm just not really into politics like that so to me it's not that important but overall I know, I know it is an important factor just to get the ball rolling on caucuses and all that but to me it's just not my thing you know I just I just stay out of politics I just live my life no matter who is president or who's in charge you know so I couldn't say I have one specific candidate that I would choose over another I haven't I honestly haven't been like following it too much but I guess I got all weekend to figure it out. Well, I don't even watch it anymore, so I, I, I'm really not keeping track of what's going on because um, we're so divided. We're, I, I wish we could just come to a middle ground, but we're divided, and so I don't keep track of what Haley and DeSantis and, well, Trump's in the news all the time, so it's hard to not know what he's doing. Uh, it's cold out here, but this is just the, the finishing week in, in a long um, year of, of us being you know, out here talking to, to voters. And so uh, while I, as one individual, might hit 50, 60, 100 doors, uh, thankfully we've got a, a team of, of staff and volunteers, you know, 150 strong, that are out doing this exact same thing across the state. We're definitely reaching out to people who, 
you know, like it, it is a habit for them to participate in the Iowa caucuses. But we're also talking to voters that they vote in every general election, but have, you know, for whatever reason, not historically participated in caucuses. been talking to Iowans for a long time specifically about the presidential race. We started in, in February of 2023, really being out on people's doorsteps, having those conversations. There are a lot of issues that are important to Republican caucus goers, uh, but the economy is top of mind for almost everybody. And then the, the second issue that we hear over and over again on people's doorsteps is they want to put our, uh, our party, they want to put Republicans in a position to, to win back the White House next year. They, they want a candidate that can win and not just win the White House, but also put Republicans in a strong position to take back majorities in the U.S. House and, and the U.S. Senate. The economy, getting that in better shape is really important. Getting the borders secured so we don't have this influx of people or we don't know who's coming in, um, just flooding in to the U.S. Um, I'm concerned about the, the funding to some of the wars that are going on in other parts of the world, like sending a bunch of money to Ukraine, uh, which is taking a side um, in this conflict, you know, against Russia, basically, which I think is a threat to us. So I'd like to see... Uh, some better policy associated with that. Um, and then on, this might be more of a local level, but I'm concerned about the, the woke agenda coming into the schools. Yeah, well, I think you know, so much of it is regardless of the weather, the, the timeline on the caucuses doesn't change. So we've got, we've got work that we need to get done before 7 p.m. on Monday the 15th, and um, we're gonna keep after it. Uh, but personally, like I, I get this sense of responsibility. The voters in the rest of these states, their, their options in this race largely hinge on whether or not we deliver and give them a chance. I mean, I think we're all aware that this nomination process could be sealed up very shortly if voters in places like Iowa and New Hampshire uh, don't send a strong message that we're not ready to coronate uh, a GOP nominee. Like